I think in terms of internet content, maybe 10% is good and 80% is absolute shit. Then there's that additional 10% that kind of falls in between. This I would call so trash it's good. If you've been on the internet for more than three seconds, you've probably seen this comic. Okay, so basically, in fact, you've probably seen the character all over, but if you were like me, you had no idea what the source was. This is the anonymous asexual. Despite the name, the author is not anonymous. They go by the name Luna Tiny. While this is almost certainly a screen name, or at the very least not a birth name, it is still technically not anonymous. But that's not important. What is important is who they are. Well, actually, not much is known about them apart from they don't think kinks are sexual and they run a safe for work vor blog. <laughs> I think it's safe to assume that they act very similar to the hero in the comics, as you're about to see. Hi. I just wanted to introduce myself. I also wanted to say that I identify as non-binary, and I'd appreciate if you could respect that. Of course. Thanks for telling me. Alright, it's time to play a game. For this activity, why don't we split up into boys and girls? The fuck you say to me, you little shit! The Tumblr page was created on February 11, 2015, and is still ongoing. The comic followed soon after. Now, if you've ever read internet web comics, most of them are terrible, okay? Like this, like this, and like this, with a few exceptions. Unlike a lot of artistic mediums, most of the innovative ones are brought to the public attention, which is, I guess, a good thing. However, the bad ones seem to receive much, much more attention. The comics themselves are quite unimaginative. It consists of a self-insert character overreacting and soapboxing about social justice. There's no plot. It's a series of quote-unquote sketches that are more like scenarios that the author put themselves in. I think whether you agree with the messaging here or not, it's safe to say it's garbage, okay? The main protagonist, Luna, is a self-insert Mary Sue who is right about everything. Anybody who disagrees with her is portrayed as an ignorant baby. The comic provokes little to no actual thought or conversation. It's, it seems like it's designed specifically to pander to a certain community. There doesn't seem to be any real second thought or purpose other than preaching here. I've read a few of them and I can't really tell the purpose of them other to vent and possibly pander. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be comedic. Just come here! Bazinga. But it's written in a way that kind of sounds like a poor attempt at humor. <laughs> However, I could be wrong. Anyway, the characters are important, apart from the main protagonist and the straw men, okay? They don't have names, and there's multiple of them. While they're not named straw men, they all represent straw man arguments. Uh, most of them are gray, men or women. If you're lucky, maybe you get some color, a little detail. Basically, the point of them is to simplify or misrepresent a point in order to make an argument easier to counter, right? Right. Sweet tea's gonna learn the hard way. <laughs> if you were to boil this comic down for a smooth brain like myself, it would just be man bad, or in some cases, woman bad. For example, this comic literally reads the opening line, So you're trans. You must really hate your body. Nobody says this. Nobody has ever said this sentence. Who the fuck would just go up? <laughs> who the fuck would go up to someone and just say, "Oh, you must really hate your body because you're trans." I, I was literally gonna provide a separate example of a straw man, but this is the perfect. This is a perfect example of a straw man if you don't know what it is. The straw men in these comics are portrayed as whiny, lazy inconsiderate, reactionary loser. The main protagonist is also inadvertently portrayed as a really unlikable person. The comic is so self-centered and so, it paints the portrayal of Luna as this amazing, just gotcha, you know, full of plenty of humdingers, plenty of gotcha moments, plenty of great, aha, you were wrong kind of moments, which is, which is super fucking just like, ugh, I hate this word, but like cringe because it's literally the author writing herself into this shit. I want to preface this with, I am not an artist. I am dog ass at drawing, okay? But I do appreciate cool drawings. While reading these from oldest to newest, it's definitely noticeable that the art has gotten a lot better. Although a lot of the characters have very rigid faces, so when they make a facial expression, it looks like a Mass Effect Andromeda robot animation. Also, Luna tends to make herself red in the face in a lot of the comics, but it ends up looking like the character has been sprayed in the face with paint or painted on their face. Um, also, the detail on her hair 
is insane, okay? It looks like Tesla brand toothpaste. Like, holy shit. The amount of shading and coloring that went into that must be a lot. Like, yeah, it looks stupid in context of the comic, but individually, it looks pretty good. The arms have really weird proportions. Sometimes they're too long or too big. It, uh, I don't know. Oh boy, my favorite. Honestly, I think if this comic just stayed on Tumblr, it wouldn't have had a quarter of the population, maybe a 16th of the population it has now. It was a bunch of 4chaners who found it, realized how god-awful it was, and spread it around. Since then, it spread to Reddit, Instagram, and the hellhole known as iFunny. Now it's as good as dead, but if I'm being honest, I still do get a kick out of them. Reading them was somewhat entertaining in a way I don't think they were meant to be entertaining. Luna, if you're watching this, please keep making the comics because they're hella entertaining. That's all I really have to say today. If you liked the video, please sure to subscribe and I will give you one free Reddit gold. Uh, thanks for watching. Peace.